All right, so today we're gonna have a good day. You just uh, might have caught the, the ending of uh, our daily apparel meeting, a bunch of good stuff going on. We just gotta make things priorities. Um, and then we have a podcast here in about 45 minutes with my buddy Carmen that owns a, a loan brokerage. And then we will possibly head up to Temecula based on what's going on for that and Temecula Hardcore Fitness and see um, how we can continue to improve that location and I go from there. So exciting day. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to the podcast studio right now to meet a buddy, as I mentioned. So we're driving there, and then first time I've used the studio, so we'll see how it goes. It'll be interesting um, to see how it ends up working out, just because it's new, so I'm sure there's going to be some hiccups. Um, but it, because it has a green screen and a bunch of other cool stuff, it should give us some ability to, to make the uh, podcast a little bit more exciting versus the same background every time. So. Um, we will see, it'll be fun. So I just talked to my Instagram guy, which is on my phone that you guys may have heard of. He's, he helps me with the growth and he helps me with engagement and all that just to kind of spread the posit you know, positive word that I'm trying to get out there. And you know, uh, one of the things I heard this morning that people might be interested in listening to, I'll, I'll do a separate post on this, is, is the standard in which you set yourself, right? I had a discussion with a friend that said her dream car, uh, Bliss, if you, if you listen to these, which you probably don't, <laughs> that her dream car was, uh, um, Honda Civic. Well, I ha this is actually on a separate somebody else's podcast. I asked her, well, why, why is your, your standard Honda Civic? Is it simply because you don't give a shit about cars, or is it just because that's all you think you can earn? And she basically said because she grew up in an environment where that was a nice car and her parents could ever afford something like that, and that's what it was, right? They said, so why wouldn't it be if you like cars? Say you did for the conversation's sake. Why wouldn't it be a Ferrari? Like, why does it have to be Honda Civic? So people need to really consider what they're. Um, one setting the standard standard to a level that you want it to be, not what not predicated by your history, and then determining why they call them limited to beliefs. I'm taking a lot of this stuff from uh, a couple of the um, motivational speakers out there that I, was, that I listen to on a pretty regular basis. But limiting beliefs, right? Why do you limit your beliefs to you can only buy a Honda Civic? Why do you limit your belief that you can only graduate high school? Why do you limit your belief that you can only make 50 grand a year? Like, what in your life created that limiting belief? Start questioning that and then raise your standard to a higher level, right? And, and that's really gonna be, again, um, associated with who you hang around with. If you hang around with a bunch of people that make 50 grand a year, and that's, and the, and that's the, the, top, you know, the top person financially in your crew, um, of course, that's gonna be your limiting belief, right? You start hanging out with people um, that make a lot more money or that are a lot happier, but those things are gonna then raise your standards. So your standards only gonna be, in, you know, you. You ask people like Michael Jordan, um, you know, how the hell did he raise his standards since he's, the, you know, probably not even argumentatively in the, the best in the world. And his was just the fact that obviously he's a special breed, but the other side of it was the fact that, that he got cut from his high school basketball team. He got cut from uh, his college basketball team, right? So he had a lot of failures in life. He lost to Detroit in like the 96 finals. So there are things that he remembered he didn't want to go back to that created those um, beliefs and he had to raise his standards to make sure that he was the best in the world. So so you can associate that with your life and I think it'll go a long distance for people, right? Um, again, getting the right people in, in your group I think is absolutely critical. Being surrounded by the right people. I think people don't put enough weight in that and I am an absolute firm believer in having to do that. Being involved in these gyms that I own now, Hardcore Fitness, has really helped me with, uh, with being around those type of people. Hey, Bao. We're here. Let's check it out. And it is. Hey. So this is it. We're going to do some, some different stuff with the table and all that. But for the sake of... Podcast doesn't matter too much, but I'm gonna eventually want to get a different table and all that stuff. So let me let me meet with the guy here that does all the sound and all that. Make sure you meet anything. How you doing? Good. How about Good you? See you. We're getting recorded hey. again, so. <laughs> all right. So um, this looks good. I'm gonna probably do some. Uh, I'm gonna put this other chair. I guess you can't put the other chairs because they're too low. 
Uh, we have a couple different chairs we can swap out. Um, okay. Shane also mentioned you might want a table plot, so I can throw. I have one yeah, black. Yeah, yeah. Uh, black, please. Okay, sure. And then, and then I'm gonna probably end up doing something that's a little bit lower, so it's more like a house type level, but it's not, this will work for today. Uh, lower table or? Yeah. Lower? Okay. Yeah. But, and then, yeah, let's see what other chairs we have. And then you'll turn all the lights on and everything once we get to that point. Yeah, for okay. sure. Okay. I don't know how to do all that yet. Fuck it. And then he's just gonna do some like behind the scenes crap just for quick social media type stuff. You got it. <laughs> I have too much shit in my pocket. The first thing I have. <laughs> um, I have these. So I don't know which ones you need. I didn't bring. I oh, okay. Um, so we have cards in here already. Okay. Cool. Um, and we can just transfer the footage to there. Okay. And but yeah, I'll, especially cool. for this camera, this is really high quality. So these really fast. So what cards. I'll do is I'll just um, share a Google Drive folder with you. Okay. And then we just upload it that way. Because then, then my Instagram guy that does all that crap can download it after that. Perfect. Is that cool? Sounds good. And then. From a mic, I didn't bring my mics. Last time we said a lot of bad feedback, but the shotgun mic should be fine. Yeah, we got the shotgun up there. Uh -huh. um, if we need something else, I can get a couple lobs. We'll do a soundtrack with that first. Okay, just to make um, sure. Yeah, if we need something more, we can get some lobs and all. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. okay. You guys are bring mine, but I have to walk. I have more. I have to this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're here for. Yeah, so we'll do that. I'm going to start trying to do these every week, if not, and then I'll eventually get in a routine. Careful your foot there. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> and then we'll see what happens. We're going to have uh, Escondido Mayor, uh, I met him yesterday, and the... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have this as a trial to kind of work out. Exactly, that's what I want to do. We'll, sure I'll clean this stuff up. Again, this doesn't matter to me, but just <laughs> for them, I don't want them... Uh, I mean, they're, they're older guys, so I want to make sure it's real for sure. warm. And then, um, you know, then there's like people like today is my buddy, so that's why I like mm -hmm. that's a big deal. Um, and well, in my experience, this is also how every single professional studio. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. But people like they might not know that. But yeah, I've, I've if, seen them. If, like, see, if you see a studio that's works. too clean, that's yeah. too clean, you know they don't do anything. You know what's funny is you say that it's like a, a plumber's uh, truck or anybody that does service work. If the truck's too yep. clean, it's like you've been fucking. You clearly don't want to work. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. This is proof we actually do stuff. Yeah. Here. You're actually busy, right? So, yeah. Cool. Um. So yeah, we'll do that. He'll be here in a little bit. So eventually, like, like these types of chairs will be more comfortable. But I don't know if they're too, sh they're probably too short for that table. So we'll have to use those chairs for today. Okay. Um, yeah, we can try those out. We, I saw another, um, I think it's just a folding table. So it might not be that sturdy. It might be kind of creaky. So okay. we can try. I think there's another uh, folding table that's lower. If not, again, I don't mind buying just a little, like, what do they call those? Like, side table, which I'm just in the center. Yeah. I just want it to be super casual. So. Um, Sounds good. And yeah, my podcasts aren't really formal. I'm just, they end up going off way off tangent and stuff like that too. But we like nice. to make them more real. We don't like to make them so like structured, right? I I pick up. We do. Um, and I don't know if it's you or him. Um, I try to limit them to fifteen, no more than twenty minutes. So usually they give me a three to five minute. Hey, you're reaching your max amount of time for that okay. specific episode. Otherwise, I realize for what I talk about. Um, one, people's commutes aren't generally longer than that, and two, the attention span of the average human doesn't want to be more than 20 minutes. Unless it's like educational, like, you know, you're talking about like fitness or health or something, they want to listen to something that talks about how protein is. Yeah, for sure. something like that, right? But it's not a study of it. Yeah, right? yeah, but not when it comes to like, hey, come, come to the housing market or whatever, right? There's, you want to quit. For sure. Know. So then I try to do two episodes in an hour, and then um, they post produce everything, so we talk about it. And eventually we'll want to do some, we'll probably want to do some live ones, but I want to just get the routine of using this first and then we'll, we'll work on the live side of it. Perfect. We just had a podcast, it was really fun. Um, He's a good dude. I've known him for a long time. It's crazy, but you get people that are a pool guy. It just this gives you a lot of perspective on things, right? Because I could have easily I was just telling this guy off camera. I could have just said, "Fuck it, he's a pool guy." Eight years ago, when he's a pool guy, I just ignored him, like probably most people do, right? Instead, damn that cop's hauling ass. Um, instead, I, you know, it's because my personality. I went out and talked to the guy all the time and said, "What's up?" and was cool with him, and you know, just because he's a pool guy didn't mean shit to me. He was a good dude. And we just had a discussion about possibly some investment opportunities, right? And him being on my podcast and all the stuff that's basically bloomed due to the fact that I just simply was light with him and built a relationship out of a guy that was more than just a pool guy. So pretty crazy stuff. Mm -hmm.